Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Jason here. With an, an unboxing video of the. That's trading. From a bulk. Morning Commanders, Mara, Will of the Wild, Cost, Armin and White, he enters the battlefield with a number of only carrots, equal to the amount of mana spell of him, you can pay 3 eggs and move plus 1 plus 1 counters from him, on another card too, or it can deal damage, or you can put scale on Controls that creature gets plus two plus two until the end of turn and he is a four creature. And he is. Then we got male, the animal, one red, one white, and green. I can pick three red, what, green, white. Look at the top of my library. You can put a creature on one total of five or greater from your among them. On the battlefield, put the rest of them all on your library and in order. And she is 2 3, and she's probably the best commander for this deck. I knew you got it. There it is. Basically, Those are just the giant versions of them. The regular versions in here as well. And top is one. 
Will in the Wild. Five and one green, and he has a three stick. So he's 
Is it expensive? Crater Halion? 4 and 2 in red? Echo has 4. When Crater Halion enters the battle, it can afford damage to each other creature, so it can kill your other creatures and your opponents. Your opponent, if you play one on one commander, which sometimes I do. Anyway, um, he has a 6 6 and he cross fixed the cat. And he has an echo claw. Hold on, guys. Here's a five as well. 
This deck is not does not have many weak monsters in it at all. Uh oh. Nine eight six eight. Two four each one will top on the body. That's the battlefield with X plus on it. Where X is the total converted mana. All cards reveal this way, so this is more on one. Then it'll be two, whatever the converted cost was. So it'll be very, 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 very powerful. It starts out at zero. That's a powerful card. In my opinion. One of my favorite artifact cards of all time. Soaring. Uh, it costs one to play. I can tap it. I do color it unless it doesn't take a And as you see, it's pretty powerful. It's an artifact. Switch. Put boot. Also, get two to play. A quick creature has hex proof and haste. And it, it only costs one to a quick two of the creature. And you're in it. And on to Dread's special. Cost three to the battlefield. I became paid to tap it. Reveal the top bar of your library. If it is the creature. Card put a one one traveling creature token on the battlefield as battlefield. If it is a land card, put a card on the battlefield under your control. If it is a non creature, non land card, you get to like. So this is a pretty decent card. We're still not going to deck it out. But this way, I'll swing one ring. It costs one, one ring, one white cat. Equipment creature gets plus two, plus two, and it's running in trouble, and it costs three, and it's quick to a creature. What's an interesting card if you ask me? Serious Sundial, it costs four to play, and fall whenever I land. It's just not the battle for the natural. You pay. So if you do draw one card, here it is. Awesome card. Power of Fortune is a 4 to cast it. I can K8 tap it and it hold 4 cards. As y'all see, it's this deck has some pretty good cards in it. Dark Steel Mutation costs 1 on 1 white. Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature is a 0 insect on the creature with indestructible and loses all ability. So that that you would want to use on your opponent's creature. Then we are on the first chaos. Cost two and a ring. And you can't play whenever you can't play attack. And you can play one of the more creatures that is attacking. The player may just play cards. The player does keep where she draws a card. So that. Hey, hard for y'all. War. Hate it. Two and red. X red. Certain creatures can't block all other control pays another an additional X colorless for each blocking creature can't control. So. A harsh card, but Curse of the Forsaken. In the white, Shannon. When a creature attacks, the Shanker, it controls it in one life. So you would enchant yourself for this card right here. When an opponent is attacking, one life. And Curse of the base creature attack twice plus one plus one counter on You can even you can even use 
Oh no, I got a little, I got a little, but I would probably put this on my opponent so that when I, <laughs> this is a good quality, boom, guard, um, yeah, one there, one more, 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 one Creatures get plus two plus two until it's turn. So I shall see. Pretty powerful card. Okay. My ancient's trick is called four and a nine. Whenever the creature with power of five or three percent is battlefield and they control, he may have four ancient's trick deal five damage to target creature. As you see, this is an evil card here. Witch hunt. Four and one red. Players can't even. At the beginning of the game, you're up to. Witch hunt game deals four damage to you. Ah, this is one that hurts. Right here, if this is on, on the field, I wouldn't put that on the field. I just can't even. Okay, let's get there. Yeah. Four and a white. And this bear comes into the battlefield. I'm getting up a bear upkeep to left or right. <laughs> each player may only attack. May only attack only the opponent. See the nearest to him or her at the last chosen direction. I'm playing Flux Control, but not play. So if you play only one, it'd be straight. You wouldn't want to use this in a 1v1 commander. War Storm Switch, or 5 and Red. When I take it into the battlefield, under your control, it deals damage equal to its power. To a creature or a player. So this is going to be a ton of bad. Spawning ground, spawning ground, six and two on green, and cheap. We invented in his tap, five, five, green, green, feature token, and train onto the battlefield. As you see, it's a uh, unicorn. Okay, what else is charm? It's one red and one white to play, choose a bar charm to get four damage. Player or permits you control the indestructible until the end of time. I would choose to deal with damage to my life on that. And this thing called this is that video is getting pretty damn long. And there's Boris Charm right I'm trying to get in the view. Right there. Browsing time, two and a green. Get your library for a basic land card or a that card and put it into your hand and shuffle your library. So this helps you get some. Now you have charm. Red, green, and white. Two is one. Now you have charm. You have three games to be able to open. Or turn, turn your card from the treasure. Two or a couple features. I do know I'm going to make my phone feel miserable. Because I won't be able to use your features. Life. And flame. Two, two green. Destroy a target artifact enchantment and I draw one card. So my, play has a, my opponent has a lot of artifacts that I don't want on the side. I destroy it. Kill. And get a draw, draw a card from that card. Okay, uh, street spam, X and R. Street spam until X damage to target creature without one you don't control. So, in an elder world, X, X, run, run.
Ooh, ow. Basically, if you hit the other one's cost, instead of heart, it's for eat. So you kill all your opponent creatures pretty much if you lose. Red and green. I get to choose one. Destroy target not effect. Or destroy target enchantment. Or destroy target and artifact and target enchantment. I always I would always choose the last one. Because you destroy both. Cultivate. Five and two and green. Two library for up to two base any card. One on the metal field tap and the other in your hand. So basically, it will allow you to get more land. Fiery Justice. Red, green, and white. Fiery Justice deals 5 damage. Then 5 as you can move. Fire number of creatures or and or first target opponent gain 5. That's not fair. I can see how it works. You only want to use this in a multiple person, not all of them. Five. How many wishes? We have red. Destroy all of them. Basic land. For each land destroyed this way. Let's control it. Control them. They search. That's our hard library. Destroy basic land card and put it onto the battlefield. Then each player search. This is a lot of this way, missed. They shuffle it, and it costs three and three. So you see, it is giving points to these. Attempt with discovery. Something off it. Free library for a unicorn and put it on the bell. Onto the bell. Each opponent may fit. Basically, put it on your field for all the people. So, this is another you probably would want to use in a multi not on one. Two and two green. All three cards. Simple as that. Oh my gosh. They have my favorite mark in here. Wrath of they cannot be regenerated. My favorite of time cards, and I'm glad I found out. One, two, three, five, and green. Choose one. Put five, five, and green beast token on the battlefield. Or put four, one, and green set creature token on the battlefield. And he has his one. Choose both if you pay the important cost of three, four. Life and base. <laughs> four to red. And base deals four damage to each creature. Secondly, I can do. I can pay two and red to discard it and all. When you cycle slice back, you may have it one each. As you see, this is a very evil card in a way. Green, of course. Four to green. Artifact, destroy the target enchantment, and destroy the target land. I would, I would choose all three. It says you can choose one or more. Who would have thought in a red deck, a red green white deck, you'd have this card? Fireball. X and red. 
it deals x damage divided evenly rounded down on any number of target creatures and or players so you can do it to one fireball is one more for cash with each target in the first so I'm going to do it for the person as you see it's a pretty good one now we're in two savage it costs X red and red and X green and it deals X damage to each creature. That has got to hurt right there. Bulls and Garrison comes in the battlefield. Says when it does, when this is a battlefield, to a sword and Or I can tap it and add red and white to my mind. Boris Garrison. Boris Gate. Boris Gate gate into the level of tap. And then tap it and one room to have a mana pool. A man tower. I knew I'd be seeing this in a man of it. Tap man. Add your mana pool. One mana in any color. And your commander color identity. Contested cliffs, so I am at tap and one color of the animal. I can pay one and green and tap it to target creature. You can control fights target creature, you are poorly control, and a poorly control. <coughs> That's cool card. I like that card. Steam Meadow. Okay. Yeah, it just about the tap, I can either tap it and White man in my middle pen, or I can cycle by playing two, score it, and go on. Now we're going to Evolving Wilds. That tap it. So I can see Evolving Wilds. Search your life and prevent the basic plan. Put out of the battle. Tap it and just search up your library, basically. Forgotten Cave. And just the battlefield tap. And I can tap it to add red, or I can cycle it for two and draw a disordered card. Grove give it the battlefield tap. I can tap it and red or the mental pool. I can tap it, I can add one mana to my metal pool, one color to mana to each player can control all critters. He or she oh. So if you took a control and they get back, that's pretty much interesting. That's an interesting. That's an interesting way. Mm -hmm. Four five. Comes into the battle. Field tap. I can add tap it and red and white to my mana pool. I see what it's doing. Okay. Kalani Junk Garden. It comes in the mouth and put tap it enters the battlefield. And then enters the battlefield with a draw one green plant creature token onto the battlefield. I can tap that green man in my mana pool. It's a good card in my opinion. Moss for green. It's hiding this land into the battlefield. Tap. When it does, I think it is hot to look hot for me. I exile one face down and put the rest on the bottom. Oh, and I tap it to add the pain that you may play. The action card without casting it, pain it's made across eight creatures you can control. That's a pretty good guard in my opinion. If you make. Okay, Naya, Panorama, tap it, add one mana to my mana pool, or I can pay one, tap it, sacrifice it, switch for the basic land guard. Basic mana, mountain, forest, or plains, 
record that and put it on the Metal Steel tap and shelf of your library. As you see, it's a pretty good card in my opinion. New millennia, it comes in the Metal Steel tap. When it does, it's just metal I can scry one basic look at the top card of my library. Put it on to the top. And you may put that on the bottom of your library if you want to, or leave it on the top of it. And I can tap add white to my apple. In my opinion, this is a good card. Apple palette. Tap add one of the first in your commander color identity if you send this command to cast your commander and enter the bathroom with a number of plus one plus one counters on it the number of times it has been carried over the game zone to the this game so you cast it more than once to the command from the command zone it's pretty bad that's pretty bad eh? Rupture Spire, it's the double field tip. When it does, sacrifice it unless you pay one. Tap it, I can make any color. And one of them is going to be American. Rupture Spire is pretty good in my opinion if you use it right. Then we are on to secluded stack. If it's a double field tip, I can use it as a tip to add white to the middle of the Pay white, discard it, and gold card. So my opinion is a pretty darn good card. We're on to Selen Selenia Gilgate is the best I can tap it and get oh, one more mana pool. Then get to Selenia. Sorry guys. Alright. Selenia is safe. It's just about to go test. We manage to get to the middle. Return on land. You control to your... It's on her hand, and I can tap it to add green, oil, green and white to my mana pool. I don't know why. I guess it's all non basic land. Maybe. There's something on the screen that I want off the screen. Well, yeah, 3754, guys. We are at the. Car. It's a battlefield tap. Tap it. I get a momentum pool. I can cycle it for two. And this one, I can draw a card. Smoldering crater. Enter a battlefield tap. I can tap it and run the momentum pool or cycle it for two and discard it and draw a card. So it's got a lot of cycling, cycling cards in it, it looks like. Then we are on the temple, the fall star. I can tap it, add two mana, three mana pool. I can make this ability only if you can go five or one. And that's it. See, it's pretty powerful. <coughs> it's just a tap, or I can peg, tap it, and green the mana pool, or peg green to cycle it. I don't know why I have all these cycle abilities. In my opinion, and I want to do this. Get to Batsy, the city tree, and I want them to add one of my nipple. I can pay two white, two green and white, and I can green and green, black and white, and the battle field. I'm about to give up. Okay. Do the crack. Do the crack enters the battle tent with two counters on it. Tap, add a friend to your mantle. Remove a charm from this can, and one mana any color, tap it into them. Remove a charm from and add one mana any color to it. Do your battle, mana. So, so yeah, so see if you can remove a card. Okay, now we're going to take a lance. Mountain. We are one, two, three. Four, four mountain. Mm -hmm. Five, six, 
seven. So forced. And it looks like four lanes. Thanks for being with me for this long video, guys. I'm sorry about it. This day is long. I'll see y'all next time. I'm gonna have another video for y'all. This time I play on. There's where you put the. Four minute video.